Hello guys, I hope all of you will be fine. So this is question 2.57 and the statement of this question is if a letter is chosen at random from the English alphabet, find the probability okay, that the letter A is a vowel exclusive of Y. Okay, So we are not including Y in the vowels and that is already not included in the vowel as well. So what will be the strategy here? So let me first write the generic formula for finding the probability of the situations or the events like this one so in order to find the probability of the events like these one what do i have to do i have to find the probability of let's say event x okay so what would happen here i have to write the number of items in x okay, divided by the total number of items which are basically in the sample space okay uh, we can see that the total number of items basically are available in the sample space so that's why i'm writing them here so this is a formula which i'm going to use here okay so as uh, part a is concerned so what do i have to do this is a vowel so the event will be what event so let me call this event x and this event basically consists of all the items which are a b i o u okay and the total number of alphabets or letters in english are 26 okay and now these are what these are one two three four five so in order to find the probability of x what it would be it would be the number of items in x which are five okay divided by the total number of items which are basically the english alphabets so these are 26 and that is what that is the answer of part a okay similarly in part b we have to list somewhere we have to find the probability of the letter that are listed somewhere ahead of the j okay so here let me call this event y okay and the set it is consist of basically what all the numbers which are lying before j so these would be a b c d e f g h and i okay so after it we will have j so this is what this is event y so the number of items here are one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so the number of items here are nine so now if i want to find the probability of y what it would be using the same formula which is here so using this formula writing the number of items in y which are nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine okay divided by the total number of items which are again 26 okay so that is what that is the solution of part b similarly in part c what do we have so we have to find the probability of the letter that are listed somewhere after letter g so let me have this event z and in order to write the set consisting of all the elements in z what would what the uh, those would be so those would be it is g so after them would be h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y and z okay so these are the number of items in this set so now let me count them so i will have here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so now in order to find the probability of z using the same formula which is here and now this formula let me underline this one as well this is the formula and writing it now here what i will have the probability of z would be the number of items here are 19 divided by 
okay so that is what that is the solution of part c okay so this is the solution of part c this is of part b and this is of part a so that's it for today in which we have seen that how to find out the probability of the events where we have a certain number of fixed elements in the sample space and out of that sample space we have certain conditions to pick different numbers okay so that is basically the outline or the underlying concepts for all the questions like this okay so uh, that's it for today and i will see you with some more questions in our upcoming video see you soon